next to write a ups name we should know some more rules we should know some more points they are the first one is longest chain rule longest chain rule what is longest chain rule c in the given organic compound in the given organic compound the longest chain is considered as parent chain what is longest chain if more number of carbon atoms present in that chain if more number of carbons present in that chain then that is called then that is called longest chain see for example here i take two ways for same compound two straight chains for same compound two different straight chains for same compound this is uh, this compound contains how many carbons uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 here also i, I took same compound 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 see here there are there are some ways uh, to select as straight chain see this is one straight chain this is also one straight chain or we can take this is also straight chain now which will be correct which will be correct this will be correct that is why here that point is mentioned which one correct method why why it, this will be correct why this will be wrong because if you consider this as straight chain it contains how many carbons eight carbons but if you consider this as straight chain it contains how many carbons seven carbons only so what you have to understand every time you should consider a straight chain that contains more number of carbons that is the first point next one if two different chains of equal lengths are possible see if two different chains two different chains not same chains of equal lengths are possible then the chain with more branches then the chain with more branches is considered as parent chain is considered as parent chain suppose in a given organic compound there is a chance of two equal possible chains two equal possible chains then which chain should be considered as parent chain the chain which is having more number of branches should be considered as parent chain see this is the example mm, see i took against same compound 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 here also 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 now um, if suppose if you select this as straight chain that chain straight chain contains how many carbons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 if you select this as straight chain this contains how many carbons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so in this chain also nine carbon atoms present in this chain also nine carbon atoms are present then which chain should be considered as parent chain this one why why this why it is not because because if you consider this as straight chain it contains how many branches this is one branch i told you what is branch and this is uh, one branch that means if you consider this as straight chain it contains only two branches but but if you consider this as straight chain it contains how many branches this is one branch branch means what the part the group of atoms which is not present in chain the group of atoms which is not present in chain that is considered as branch so this is one branch this is one branch this is one branch so here three branches are present here only two branches are pre present in both cases uh, number of carbon atoms in straight chain is same but uh, in this case in second case more number of branches are present so that this this part this is considered as parent chain this is considered as parent chain next one 
next rule the numbering is given to the parent chain the numbering is given to the parent chain in which in which the substituent present on carbon atom having least number the numbering is given to the parent chain in which the substituent is substituent present on carbon atom having least number what is that point suppose in a given organic compound if any substituent substitute nothing but if any prefix is present then the carbon which is attached to that substituent the carbon which is attached to that substituent should get less number that is the meaning of that point that is the meaning of that point suppose see uh, in this straight chain how many carbons nine carbons here also nine carbons this is substituent suppose if you give number from left to right then this carbon this uh, substituent get which, uh, third carbon this uh, this substituent get third position suppose if you give number from right to left then this substituent get seventh position so which will be correct this will be correct that is the rule so the substituent the carbon atom which is attached to substituent or functional group should get should get least number that indicates that why it, uh, why it should get least number that indicates that we are giving priority we are giving priority indirectly for substituent or functional group suppose if you give number from right to left then the, the substituent get a seventh position that means that that means that we are not giving more priority to substituent or functional group in this case uh, why this will be right because the substituent present on which carbon third carbon that means we are giving priority for a substituent or functional group so that is also one of the rule next one the numbering is given to the parent chain in which in which the functional group present on carbon atom having least number what is the meaning of the point the numbering is given to the parent chain in which the functional group present on carbon atom having least number see now that means this is also like a third point say uh, if you give number from right to left then this double bond carbon get which position second position if you give number from left to right then this double bond carbon gets which position fourth position so which will be right this will be right because we are giving more priority to double bond in above case that is why this will be correct here this will be wrong in this case also see uh, suppose a given function uh, organic compound is like this here OH is present on which this carbon we have to give number from right to left if you give a number from left to right then this carbon gets fourth position that indicates that you are not giving more priority to OH group so we have to give number from right to left that indicates that we are giving more priority for function group that is the meaning of that point next one in this case see if you see this example here COH is present on carbon atom in that COH so carbon is present this is what function group if if functional group contain carbon if functional group contain carbon then that functional group should get that functional group should get first priority that means that that get that functional group should get first number if functional group contains carbon then that functional group we should give number from that functional group so number given from one, uh, here right to left that is also one of the rule i hope you understand very well next one lowest sum rule lowest sum this is also one of the rule what is lowest sum rule if given compound contains two or more substituents if given compound contains two or more substituents then the numbering is given in such a way that 
in such a way that the substituents present on carbon atom having least number means least sum if you see the example then you get idea see this is the example in this example suppose ss means two substituents are present suppose two substituents are present uh, we have to give number from left to right why if you give number from right to left what happened this is also one of the way if you give number from left to right then this uh, these substituents gets second and third position if you give number from right to left then these substituents gets third and fourth position 2 plus 3 what 5 3 plus 4 what 7 so we should follow which rule lowest sum rule so this will be correct then this will be wrong i hope you understand that example that rule also next one if two or more same substituents if two or more same substituents present then the prefixes are used then the prefixes are used di for two tri for three tetra for four etc suppose if two same substituents are three same substituents four same substituents are present then what are the prefixes we have to use di for di tri tetra etc suppose c in this example uh, this ch3 ch3 these are what branches nothing but substituents nothing but prefixes two same substituents are present so what are the what is the prefix 2 comma 3 dimethyl 2 comma 3 dimethyl that indicates that that methyl to that methyl group present on second and third position in a given organic compound next next last one if two different substances are present then the name is given in alphabetical order suppose see uh, in, in this given organic compound CH3 is present and Cl is present as substituents CH3 is present and Cl is present as substituent, substituent. then which one should uh, which one comes first in uh, IOP's name chlorine will come first why compared to M C will come first so that this, should, this, it, this part should be mentioned first later this, this part should be mentioned so the name will be started with chlorine so that chlorine is present on which carbon third carbon so 3 chloro 2 methyl the name will be st started like that so that is the so one of the rule so you have to remember all these rules to write a UPS name please watch this video also more times then you will get clear about all points and all rules thank you